I need you to also at some point to like come and like. Hey, good morning. Uh, thanks for joining us with another rendition of Garden Side Chats. Um, today we're going to talk just a little bit about starting a fall garden. So starting a fall garden, I think is, uh, I find it really fun. Um, you know, it extends your gardening season a little bit into like, you know, November, maybe December in mild years. Um, hummingbird. Um, but it's kind of challenging to be quite frank and just open about it. The reason why it's challenging is because you're planting cool season crops. Uh, today we're going to plant mescaline mix, which is like a mix of greens, like arugula and different lettuces and things like that, um, in the hottest part of the year. So these things don't really love the heat. Um, so we're going to go over some tricks on how to get them germinated and doing well so um, they can still flourish in, you know, the heat of late July and early August. So today I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to plant some mescaline mix, mescaline mix, um, and I'm going to plant it where um, I have my spring beets. So you might be able to see, um, I have no beets in this bed anymore. Um, and also I have leaves over the bed just as a, you know, soil protector or mulch. Um, the soil is pretty loose and damp. It did rain pretty hard on Monday. Um, and it has been, since it's, the soil's been under the leaves, it's been kept cool and kept moist. You know, it's today's, what, Wednesday? Um, even though it's been pretty warm out. So that's one of the benefits of mulching is it keeps the soil cooler, keeps the moisture in. Um, so anyway, that is going to help me out at this precise juncture. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the whole section of this bed. Uh, I'm just going to do just a little, a little bit of it and kind of talk you through it. So I'm just pulling aside my mulch. In my case, it's uh, leaves, but a lot of people use straw. I wouldn't recommend wood chips. Um, wood chips, t you know, kind of tie up nitrogen in the soil. So, it, and you want your plants to be able to access nitrogen. So anyway, leaves, leaves are free. They Take a little bit of work to collect, but not bad. Uh, straw, you can buy straw at pretty much any hardware store or something in town. So I'm just pulling any of the weeds back. So I've got a pretty good, we want a clean seed bed. Um, and for something like musclin mix, we want a, what we call fine seed bed. So we don't want big chunks of soil. So I actually already kind of have that, which uh, saves me work, which is really nice. So if you want to kind of, can you see it or do you need to like come over here to see what the fine seed bed looks like? So that's our fine seed bed. There's no big like clumps of soil or anything. Um, it's, you know, pretty, pretty loose, relatively speaking, pretty friable. Um, got not too wet, but not very dry. So it's, it's pretty great. Um, got my Katucci, my favorite tool. Um, so the first trick of of seeding something in for fall is to plant it just a little bit deeper than you would plant it in the springtime. Um, now I'm not like, I'm meaning just a little bit. Um, so for things like the greens I'm going to plant, uh, since the seed is really small, you don't really want to bury it very deep anyway, because it doesn't have a lot of stored energy to pop through a whole bunch of soil. So I'm probably going to plant it maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch deeper than I normally would. So meaning I would probably plant this about half an inch deep. The reason why you'd plant it just a little bit deeper is to make sure that you can keep that soil moisture so that the seeds germinate. Um, on hot days like this, you know, the top of the soil dries out really fast, even if you're watering it every morning, every evening. Um, so if you plant them just like a smidge deeper, you're kind of you're trying to get them a little bit deeper so that they can stay moist because that's an important component of germination is staying moist. So as you can see, can you see, I made my trench right here. Let me stand up and get my seeds. So here's my seeds. So it's a mix of lettuce, brassica seeds. You can see it's like all different colors and shapes and stuff. Um, all really small. This is all really small seed. Um, and I'm going to eat it like leaf, like leaf lettuce. So I'm going to plant it really thickly, 
this is also on a personal side note this is also old seed so you also always plant old seed uh, more thickly because the germination rate isn't as ideal as it as it was so there's my one little row that I'm just going to plant just for the demonstration purpose this is about a 30 inch wide bed because this is just like cutting greens like the I'm about this tall I'll probably plant like five rows in this bed so that's just this one I can keep going towards the Swiss chard but this is just for demonstration so now I'm going to take any clumps of soil and kind of break them up over the seeds in the little trench that I made like so it's important another the second trick then is to keep them in a trench so you can see I'm pushing the soil down but you can still clearly, hopefully, see that they are within a trench. So, why is that? Let's show you. So, I have my hose right here. So now, now you wanna water it. So I got my hose. So you can see that the water kind of pools in the trench like that. And that, along with the planting the seeds a little deeper maximizes the soil moisture at this like really hot generally really dry time of year so you want to water it really well my bed kind of goes slopes downhill like this anyway so that's why it's pooling really right there um, so a little bit deeper trenches are important so maintain those trenches um, water it really well so you probably want to water it like every single day but I know you're already going out to your garden every day, so you might as well just water it. And then my final trick that I use is this, this is so home, like, well, not homemade, but um, I found this like window screen in our house and I have two sections of it and it provides just enough shade to newly seeded plants that uh, reduces the amount of watering and cools uh, the soil surface just a little bit maybe by a couple degrees so it it uh, kind of brings it down a couple notches for these cool season plants so I would leave I just set this the window screen just on top of the soil like you can see it is like you know I've got this like little water thing for animals or whatever and then you know it, it it's not like totally flat so it, it's kind of lifted up off the soil is the whole point and then I leave it on for about a week and I just water through it so because it's there's just holes in it but it provides enough shade to the young to the seeds and then to the young plants that germinate that make it a better environment it makes them germinate easier in this really warm weather a uh, word of wisdom is um, if you plant any cool season things for fall right now so that would be like lettuce maybe radishes turnips more kale arugula um, carrots even beets the the days to maturity on the package are not going to be accurate for this time of year because that's assuming generally that you're only going to plant them in the spring which is kind of like when they want to grow and the for fall planting you're planting them when they absolutely do not want to grow and you're doing things like putting the screen down and planting them in trenches to trick them into growing so it's going to take them longer to hit those to hit maturity than it says on the package so usually we say two weeks uh, so let's say I think on here it says harvest in 40 to 50 days I'm gonna assume we're talking closer to two and a half months than than that um, than like the 40 or 50 days um, but that's fine with me because what is two and a half months from now uh, so August September late September that's great I won't be eating lettuce in late September it's perfect with me um, so the next things I'm going to be doing every day are checking this, watering it, checking to see if there's like ants or really pulleys eating it or like the garden cats like rolling in it, um, keeping them well watered, making sure the shade cloth or the thing that you're using to shade it is hasn't blown away or whatever. Um, yeah, tis the time to plant your fall garden. So usually here in Missouri I say late July for for many things to early August for fall production we'll do another garden side chat for overwintering stuff that we would do kind of later in the summer in the fall um, and we'll talk about using cold frames at that time
But those are some just some quick uh, tips that you can use in your garden for starting your fall garden. Um, as always, if you have gardening questions, let us know. That's what we're here for. Um, until next time, happy gardening.